Blender is released approximately every three months. You can keep up to date with the latest changes through the release notes page on Blender website. Blender is available for download on Windows, macOS, and Linux. Just make sure to always check that the graphics drivers are up to date and that OpenGL is well supported. Noting that Blender has a set of minimum and recommended requirements, so make sure these are met before trying to install Blender. Blender offers a variety of different binary packages to choose from depending on their level of stability. Each package has the trade-off of the newest feature versus stability. The package that is right for you depends on your requirements for those two. A studio for example might want to have long-term support, while a hobbyist may want newer features, while others may just want to test upcoming features. I will describe the differences between the different releases. The first one is the stable release, where the package contains the latest features and is considered stable without regressions. A new stable version is available about every four months. The second one is the long-term support, where the package is designed for long-lasting projects requiring a very stable version of Blender. LTS releases are supported for two years and will not have any new features, API changes, or improvements. A new long-term support version is available every year. The third one is the daily builds, where the package is updated daily to include the newest changes in development. These versions are not as thoroughly tested as the stable release, and might break, although they are official and usually not highly experimental. And don't forget that Blender is open source, where the source code is available for free to either reference or to build from source. While normal users are not expected to compile Blender, it does have advantages. For example, you can always have an up-to-date version of Blender. It allows access to any version or branch where a feature is being developed. It can be freely customized. The procedure for installing a binary, either the latest stable release or a daily build, is the same. One note that is important to mention though, would be that Blender doesn't have a built-in updating system. This means you will need to update Blender yourself by following the upgrade steps. In the coming videos I will go through the main installation steps to install Blender on different platforms. For the full details about the installation please check Blender manual on the website, I will leave the link for you in the video description.